I'm going to talk about um, molecular phylogeny of some asexual uh, fungi we've found in two habitats in Thailand. First of all, there's the peat swamp at Sirindon in southern Thailand, where we've uh, described something like 21 new species. And there are still 28, 29 species waiting description, plus a whole mass of endophytic xylariaceous things. Um, these are some of the new genera that have been described. Uh, Padishvaria, uh, which nestles in the Hypocraeales. Uh, Flamispora in the Hypocraeomycetidae. Uh, Pruensis in the Diapothales. And Thailandiomyces groups with uh, two other genera, Tirisporella and Bacchusphyria, which is a new genus. And these um, group in the order Tirisporeales, um, which will be introduced in the new classification of the marine fungi, which will appear shortly. We have over 1,111 marine fungi, and this monograph will deal with all of those. The second habitat we've looked at has been leaf litter in Thailand, mainly from Kauai uh, National Park. And again, a whole range of uh, new species have been found, and this work is ongoing. And some of these have been new genera. And these are the ones I want to touch upon this morning. First of all, Falcocladium, um, for which we've introduced a new family, Falcocladiaceae, and that's now have been put into a new order, Falcocladiales, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Lauriomyces and Sasmopsis uh, group in the Leotomycetes, and we'll deal with that in a moment. And then Infantibulomyces groups in the Ketospharialis. First of all, then, Lauriomyces. Now, this was introduced in 1990, and currently there are eight species. They're all characterized by having upright uh, brownish conidiophores, except for Cinematicus, um, which has a cinetium. And it's a question whether that will remain in the genus or not. The genus is characterized by unicellular um, hyaline conidia uh, in a dry ball and formed in acropetal chains. And interestingly, there is a blob of mucilage that connects the different conidia together. So that d differentiates them from another close uh, genus, Hapilographium. Uh, Alpolygraphium is close to this, but that has slimy spore heads as well as other morphological features. Now, Lauriomyces actually groups in the Leotomycetes. It forms a, a new lineage, the Lauriomyces uh, clade, which you can see there on the screen, and with the Leotiaceae as uh, an adjacent group. We have, in fact, screened and sequenced a whole range of species. Um, and the former monophyletic clade, as you can see, the only species that uh, we want to spend more time looking at is Lauriomyces saccharatensis, which differs from the other species because it does have some sterile elements in it, brown, sterile hairs, and one or two other features as well. <coughs> The other genus is Sachmopsis, introduced in 1974, and currently there are four um, uh, species in this genus. Um, the feature of this uh, um, genus is that it has cupulate uh, pachnidia. So at the base of the conidiomata here, there will be the, a branch of tissue on which the conidiophores are produced. There have been some eight sequences available for study, four of them which have been isolated from material collected in Thailand, and four which have been recovered 
from the Gen Bank. They form a monophyletic clade, and it's quite interesting that they group with a whole range of other leaf litter fungi, uh, sequences of which are deposited in the uh, Gen Bank, but for which we don't know what the organism very often looks like. The other genus we want to touch upon is Falcocladium, introduced in 1994 by Pedro, and currently houses four species. It's characterized by uh, conidiophores, which are born on a stroma or on a cervulus. The conidia are high aligned, slightly curved, falcate, and there are sterile elements in the tissue, um, very often spathulate, as you can see here. Again, we've sequenced a whole range of Falcocladium species. They do form a monophyletic clade. And in our paper last year, they grouped with two other uh, families, the Jansigaceae, Lithrophoraceae, and the Torbidosporaceae. Um, since that paper was published, um, the genus has been looked at again and included in a much more diverse uh, study with much more uh, species and a wider range of genes. And the Falcocladiaceae is now placed in a new order, Falcocladiales. And this agrees with some comments that um, Sid and um, Andy made yesterday. The three marine uh, families, uh, Jansigaceae, Erythrophoraceae and Turbidosporaceae um, will be placed in a new um, order, the Turbidosporales, and that will appear in our revision of the marine uh, fungi, which is, will be out, I hope, fairly soon. Infundibulomyces, this is another interesting uh, Fungus. It has cupulate uh, um, uh, conidiomata um, with the conidiophores formed at the base and on a uh, dome of um, tissue. It differs from the other genus in that the um, conidia are higher line, but there are appendage in this particular case. And this groups in the Chytus variales, we've screened, we've sequenced two, the two species that are assigned and we described this material um, from Thailand in 2003. And I think the last uh, genus I want to mention is Vis Visneriomyces, a genus introduced in 1907. Um, it's a new lineage in the Dudidiomycetes, and currently um, we accept three species. We've sequenced a wide range of um, isolates um, of the two uh, species. Again, it forms a nice uh, monophyletic clade, and for that we've introduced the family Visneriomycetaceae, and that forms a sister group to the Tuboyphiales in the Dothidiomycetes. I'm sorry we have to condense a lot of this information, um, but there will be opportunities people need further information about all these changes. My screen is... Yeah, but in this slide, I've summarized all the data that we've done on the phylogenies of the asexual fungi. Infantibulomyces, robillada, and the Piculopsis group in the Sordariomycetes, as I've indicated, Falcocladium groups in the Falcocladiaceae and the new order Falcocladiales. The other two uh, genera, Smotmopsis and Lauriomyces, these both form new clades in the Leotomycetes. Where we place them at the ordinal rank remains to be resolved, and I hope. Uh, we will get more data on this in the coming uh, months. Visnariomyces, as I've said, 
is a new family in the Viscerocytaceae and that groups in the Dothidiomycetes. So that gives you an overview of some of the work that we've been doing on the phylogeny of some asexual fungi. This is beside the work that we have been doing with the ascomycetes, and that work is published elsewhere. Also, there's been some work on um, asexual basidiomycetes, and these are included in this slide as well. So there's quite a lot going on in terms of looking at the phylogeny of asexual and sexual uh, fungi that we've collected and isolated in Thailand. Um, I'd like to conclude by thanking BTS for various research grants in Thailand that enable us to carry on work over the last 10, 12 years, King Saud University uh, for research funding. And a particular thanks to CBS for the provision of various cultures which Pedro has isolated. Uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs>